I come to clap my hands. I come to clap my hands. I come to clap my hands. I come to shout for joy. 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 I come to do my dance. 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 God has been so good. I'm going to do my dance. I'm going to do my dance. I'm going to do my dance. I'm going to clap my hands. I come to clap my hands. I come to clap my hands. I come to clap my hands. God has been so good. 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 I don't know what you come to do. I don't know what you come to do. I don't know what you come to do. Oh, I come to clap my hands. 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 I come to shout for joy. I come to shout for joy. He has been so good. I'm gonna shout for joy. I don't know what you come to do. I don't know what you come to do. I don't know what you come to do. Oh, I don't know what you come to do. I don't know what you come Say, to do. I don't know what you come to do. I don't know what you come well, to do. Well, I come to clap my hands. 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 I come to shout for joy. 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 Bible says that again, when the praises go up, 
God's anointing comes down. Oh, that's what we need this morning. We need the anointing of God in this place. Oh, thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. We bless your name today. For your name is above all names, oh, Lord God. Oh, you reign, oh, Lord God, in the heavens and in the earth. And we praise you today, oh, Lord God, for who you are. For who you are. For who you are. He's God. He's God. Our creator. Our sustainer. Oh, thank you, Lord God, for blessing us with an opportunity, Lord God, to come into the house. Oh, Lord, where we can just worship you. And we invite you in, Lord God. Oh, into the house, into our homes, into our hearts. Oh, Lord God, we just invite you. To abode with us, oh Lord God. Just abode with us. That as we worship you, Lord God, we worship you in spirit and in truth. For Father, when we when we just think about the goodness of God. Father, when we just think about the goodness of God, Lord, and all that you have done for us. Oh Lord, we know what we're here for today. We're here, Lord God, to give you praise for who you are. You are God. You are God. And we thank you, Lord God. Oh, we thank you, Lord God. Yes. Yes, Lord God. We say, Lord God, have your way in this place today. Prepare us for worship, oh, Lord God. Prepare us for worship. In and of ourselves, Lord God, we can't worship you. Lord, we ask you to prepare us for worship. For worship, Lord God. For worship. Prepare us, O oh Lord God, for worship. Such us, O oh Lord God. Search us, O oh Lord God. Search us, O oh Lord God. Search us. And then, Lord, send your Holy Spirit. For, Lord God, we can't do it apart from your Holy Spirit. We can't worship you apart from your Holy Spirit. Oh, Lord, we're here to worship. And we can't do it apart, Lord God, from your Spirit. So we say, pour out your Spirit upon us, Lord God. Then we might worship you right now. Just take a moment, Lord, to just worship, to bow our feet, to bow our hearts, to bow our heads, oh Lord God, before you, acknowledging that Lord God, it is you that worketh in us, both to will and to do of your good pleasure. So we thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Father, for this time of worship in your house. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Saints, I just want to say to you this morning, as a part of worship, we worship him because we love him. And, and we love him because he first loved us. Oh, say, that's, 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 that's it. It's all because of the love that he has demonstrated toward us. And we worship him. He has done great things. Marvelous in our sight. And we just we just wanna we just wanna focus for just a moment. We just want to set our affection on things above and, and not on the things of this earth and just worship him for just a moment. Just worship him. Just worship him. 
Just worship Him. Just worship Him. Thank you, Lord God. Oh, when we think about the love of Christ. When we think about it. Just think about it for just a moment, saints. Think about the love that he has poured out upon us. Just think about it. Lord, we bless your name and we thank you. We thank you, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, we thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Oh, just worship him for just a moment. Oh, just worship him for just a moment. Oh, he's seeking such to worship him. He's seeking such to worship him. Let's just worship him. Worship him. the word of God says for just a moment. This is what the word of God says for just a moment. That Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith. That you being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all of the saints what is the breath, the length, the depth, and the height. And to, and to know the love of Christ which love passive all knowledge that we may be filled with the fullness of God. He's worthy of our worship. He is worthy of our worship. He's worthy of our worship. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Praise God. We're going to have our Reverend Boyd to come and lead us in a word of prayer. Praise God. worship with us today. If you feel like singing and shouting in your homes, that's what you do. Whatever God put on your heart to do, that's what you do. In the mighty name of Jesus, and all will be well with your soul. Glory to God. I just wanted to honor him and say thank you, Lord. Thank you for the rising of the sun. Thank you, Father God, for allowing me and all that is present to be here in your house today. For that I say thank you. Thank you, Lord God. I'm asking, Father, that you are creating us clean hearts and renew right spirits with us. Where is hatred? Just put love there. Where is malice? Put forgiveness there. Whatever it is, Father God, that you see that we need to serve you in spirit and in truth. Create us, create in us that clean heart and renew that right spirit with us. And for that, I say thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. I just thank you for the day. This is your day. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. 
Whew, Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. Bless this nation, Father God. Lead us. Give them the will and the way to understand you. Bless this vaccine. That's, some might take it and some might not. But whatever it is, Father God, I want you to bless it and heal so we can heal the bodies. Thank you, Lord God. Bless the children, Father, as they go to school. Watch over them and keep them safe. Walk with us. Talk with us. You said in your word that if we confess our sins, you're still just and faithful to clean us of all, all, not some, but all unrighteousness. For that I say, thank you, Lord God. Can't nobody do that but you, God. Today is the day for forgiveness. Today is the day for love. Today is the day. It's your day. Thank you, Lord. I'm asking that all of the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be accepted in your sight because you are my strength and you are my redeemer. Spread your love around this place today. You are welcome in here, Father God. We can't do nothing without you. For that I say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. I ask all these blessings because I'm expecting a word to hear from you today. Bless him, keep him strong so he can deliver it, not his way, but the way you gave it to him. Open up our hearts and ears so we might receive. For that I say thank you, Lord. I'm thanking you in time, before time, after time, when time, during time. Thank you, Father God. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. No other name can we be saved under the heavens and the earth. But Jesus. For that I say thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 And thank you, Lord God.
flowing. I won't let that minister to somebody. Somebody who woke up this morning that may have had a couple of issues of their heart. is flowing. Yeah, I keep playing it softly. It's flowing. Dig again, we ask that you'll come forward now and prepare for the scripture. And just keep playing that softly as the word of God is being read. That there's the sweet flowing of the Holy Spirit. I don't know how you feel today, but I thank God for recognizing when His Holy Spirit is present. I, I, sometimes you become lost for words when it God is in control, but it's flowing from my heart. very softly. Brother Warden, go ahead and read the scripture. And I just need that to just continue to just... Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Yeah, yeah, yes. Come on. Come Isn't on. the day that man call love? Well, God call us to love every day. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so uh, there are so many scriptures in God worried about love and my prayer for us is that the body of Christ learn to love. And I'm just going to say this. If you don't know how to love, just ask him. God will teach you how to love. Yeah, yeah. Might not be the way you expect it, but he will teach you how to love. And this world will be a better world. And we can draw others to Christ when we learn how to love. I'm coming out of John chapter 15. Yes. And I'm coming out of, that's the 12th verse. 
this is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. Now turn over to, uh, uh, see, Paul talked about love too. That's Jesus talking about love. See, Jesus created Paul to do a work too. Turn over there to uh, uh, 1 Corinthians, around the 13th chapter. I got on these glasses, and I'll tell you, they ain't all that good, but I'm going to find it. And, and, and I'm going to come out of the Amplified because, see, when we really, really learn how to love as God called us to love, there's so much I want to say on love, but you know what? It's not the time. But I pray that God fix it. I, I be listening to uh, Pastor John P. Key. He's one of my favorites. And he always say, God, you fix it. He don't use the script. He say, you fix it, God. You fix us. So I'm asking this moment that God fix us that we learn how to love. And if we learn how to love, God can do a work in this earth. It say, if you speak with tongues of men and of angels and have not love for others, growing out God's love for me have become a noisy, tinkling symbol, making a bunch of noise. And if you have the gift of prophecy and speak the new message from God and understand all mysteries and all knowledge and have not love, even if you can move mountains and have not love, you have become nothing. But if I give all my possessions to feed the poor, if I surrender my body to be burned and have not love, it does me no good. Love endures with patience and sincerity. Love is kind, thoughtful, and is not jealous, envious. Love does not brag and is not proud or arrogant. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not provoked nor overseeing sensitive or easily angered. Does not take a wrong and do it. It is not rejoice in itself. If we have not love, family, we are nothing. So I pray this morning that God teach us how to love. And there's a lot of us that I got to put me in the two because, see, I don't love perfect as I should. But, see, I've learned something. If I ask God to teach me how to love, it may not be like I want to, but I will. You know what? I love that ugly. I love that stink. I love the unlovable. If I ask God to show me how to love. And may us God add a blessing to the reading of his word. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, give God a hallelujah praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Sister Tamara will come down in our Black History Observance moment. Good what morning. a mighty God. Good morning. What a wonderful day to be here. Thanking God for everything. I want to welcome you to our Black History Month program. That is black history. What our ancestors went through for us, Lord God, we can't even imagine. Today I want to tell you how music paved the way to freedom. The music of freedom during the time of slavery in the United States, many slaves escaped to go north and seek their freedom. The Underground Railroad is a symbolic name given to the routes they traveled from safe house to safe house until they reached freedom. Music played a big role as some gave code instructions, instructions for the routes to follow and warned of dangers along the way. Slave songs are especially important resources for studying the live experience of slavery. As one of the only emotion 
and spiritual outlets available to slaves. These songs contained the hopes and dreams, frustration and fears of generations of African Americans. Slave used music in many different ways to escape their horror situations. They would sing songs in the field and also during the little leisure time they had. If they were lucky, they would have an instrument like a banjo that they would play in the night for their families. We have many songs that we sing every Sunday, just now that goes back to the slavery songs and the meanings that some of us don't even know where we're singing and why we're singing the songs. For instance, we sing Swing Low, Sweet Cherry Off. This song was sung when the slaves heard this song. They knew that they had to prepare for a big escape. The Sweet Chariot is a, is a code name for the Underground Railroad, which comes through the south, and it swings low to the slaves and to free them to go north, which that would carry them home. Wade in the water. A Negro spiritual song that teaches slaves to hide and make through by getting into the water so the dogs wouldn't smell their scent. Still away. This song message is one of the singing, if the person that sung the song was planning to break free from enslavement. The lyrics say that the Lord calls the slave to freedom and that there's not much time left for them to stay on the plantation. Amazing grace. This famous melody was written by a captain of a slave ship. Amazing Grace is often attributed to another old slave tune and was originally played only on the black keys of the piano in order to give a sorrowful vibe. Follow the drinking gourd. The drinking gourd is mentioned in the African-American gospel folk song and is actually the water dipper which is the Big Dipper code name. The Big Dipper points towards the north, to the pole star. As moss only grows on the dead trees north side, the Big Dipper would guide the slaves north. Go down Moses. Go down Moses talks about the Bible, Old Testament, even particularly Exodus 8 and 1. In the lyrics, Israel means African-American slave, while Pharaoh and Egypt means the slave master. The word down in the American slave content means down, down Mississippi River, the place where slaves have struggled the awful conditions. Let us break bread together. This root song was probably formed in a slave culture that developed in the southeastern colony. American coastal areas such as South Carolina, St. Helen Island, Charleston, and Beaufort. Let us break bread together is a call for Christians to come together where they're knelt or stood to celebrate the Lord. Hold on. Keep your hand on the plow. <laughs> The expression to get your hand on the plow is used when one is committed to a special work. Put or set your hand to the plow embarks on a task. The phrase comes from Luke chapter 9, verse 62. And Jesus said unto him, no man having put his hand on the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. This song was sang in the fields when the slaves were tired and wanted to give up, but encouraged each other to keep looking forward to freedom, and there's nothing to look back for. And um, I gave you all um, the lyrics to this song, Hold On, and I'm going to try to sing it. And on the, the lyrics, it says, Nora, Nora, let me come, come in. And I looked up, and I was like, who is Nora? Nora Nora was a code for Lord because they couldn't speak of it. So that's what I, I looked up, and, and this song just kind of 
it kind of hit my soul. (laughs) So I'm going to try to sing it. It says, Nora, Nora, let me come in. Doze a fast and a window's pin. Keep your hand on that plow and hold on. Nora said you done lost your track. Can't plow straight and keep a looking back. Keep your hand on that plow and hold on. Hold on, hold on. Keep your hand on that plow and hold on. You want to get to heaven, let me tell you how. Just keep your hand on that gospel plow. Keep your hand on that plow and hold on. If that plow stays in your hand, it'll take you straight to the promised land. Keep your hand on that plow and hold on. Mary had a golden chain. Every league spelled Jesus' name. Keep your hand on that plow and hold on. Hold on, hold on, keep your hand on that plow, keep your hand on that plow, keep your hand on that plow and hold on. We thank God for giving our ancestors strength and wisdom to come out strong, even though the roads were rough and weary. We gave them hope through music. He gave us a decision to keep straight and narrow way or go astray. We all have to make changes, and I pray it is the love to one another as the Lord loved us. Amen? Amen. And we will now have my sister, Tania Trapp, close us out our Black History Program with a song. I stepped in the water 
And the what, what, the what, what, the water was called the angel. And it chilled my body, but not my soul. The angels You know that I know I've been changed. I know I've been changed. Good Lord said I. Somebody said, how can a brown cow eat green grass and give us white milk? Well, if you think that's something, God's chemical laboratory redemption took my black soul, dipped it in red blood, and it came out white as snow. Ooh, you know the Angels in heaven done, yeah. You know that I know I've been changed, yeah. I know I've been changed. Good Lord said I, 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 oh yeah. I know I've been changed. You know the angels in heaven done sign my name. You know the angels in heaven done. Sign my name. You know the angels in heaven done. Sign my name. soul. Mm -hmm. God have mercy. <laughs> God have mercy. Y'all go ahead. Y'all go ahead. Holy Spirit have your way. Holy Spirit have your way.
for a moment, flowing from my heart, all the issues, just for a moment. Just, I don't want to just play that just for a moment. And I want to take, I want to take a moment because of where God has me in this moment. And I want to tell everyone that's listening to us, happy Valentine's Day. For we know that that day that man has set aside on the calendar is a day to show and express love. But understand true love and where it comes from. It flows from the heart. And I thought so befitting on this, this day. There's two things that I want to do first. Uh, Sandra, just, just keep playing it softly. She didn't, didn't know I was going to do this, but I, I want Sandra just to come up. I want you to keep playing it just, just for a moment for me. It's flowing from my heart. Yeah, yes, all the issues are. God has he granted me my prayer and planted angel in my life that this day on Valentine's I asked Sandra some 12 years ago to be my valentine. And every year since then, she has been saying yes. <laughs> but true love cannot be expressed on the day on the calendar. True loves come from a place that only God can give. And only God can see minute in his time capsule. And we have a love that, that, that I cherish with all of my bones that understands the God in me loves the God in her. So I want to provide this word of encouragement for those who are listening that, that though Sandra and I are married, there are many others that are not. Love comes from the heart of mankind. And God has commanded his love toward us that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And he commanded that love that we ought to love ye one another as Christ had loved the church. And we stand on this day together declaring a love that comes from the inside to the outside. So everyone under my voice, 
When you get home or wherever you go in this life, you need to tell each other how much you love. Because let me tell you, life changes in a moment. And you don't know what tomorrow holds. But Sandra, with all of my heart, I love you. I love you with all of my heart. So I just wanted to encourage somebody today that what love looks like is not all of what you see standing but that which you can't see. Because yeah. yeah. we can paint a pretty picture. Yeah. Do you understand that pictures are what they are? They are standing still in time. Yeah. But true love comes from what was behind the picture. Yeah. And I want you to know that it's flowing. softly. We're not going to hold you long today. But I just want you to just love from the inside out. And Zion, I want you to hear what the word of God is telling us. scriptures and just just keep just keep playing it softly playing it softly and we as a people I want us to continue to keep that in front of us is that let us run with patience the race that is set before us. And I want you to just kind of stop by on this 14th day of February. As we continue to talk a moment just about let us. But there's something I want you to embrace as a people. Found. 1 Corinthians 12 and 12. There's just one verse I want you to read, I want you to hear. And, and it says this, and, and, and think about it from this perspective of, of love. That there is one body, but it has many parts. But all 
its many parts make up one body, one love. It is the same with Christ. Then I want you to turn, turn to Ephesians 4 and 2. And, I, and it says, be completely humble and gentle. Be patient. Bearing with one another in love. We're one body in Christ. But within that one body, we need to be completely humble and gentle. And be patient, bearing with one another in love. Now, God moved this morning in 1 Corinthians 13, 4 and 7 with Brother Gant read. And I had that scripture written down here as well. But I, I want to talk just for a moment about a as we celebrate this day and that shows expressions of love one to the other. An agape love. A love that's unconditional. And it's the highest form of love. Remember now, we are one body. And we are running this race together. And the word of God tells us to be patient and gentle. Bearing with one another in love. So before we can really continue to do what's best for others, God wants us to look from the inside out. And I have to fall in love with the fact that in, in this body that I'm standing, within this body where we are, there are many, many different parts. Zion, we have a lot of people made up of many different things. We have been talking about time on the last couple of Sundays, and the next couple of Sundays we're talking about talents and then your treasures. But between time and talent, God wants us to know that there has to be a connector. Talent has to do with what you give God in service. But you have to spend time with God to know that that which bridges us to that point is love. Somebody today may not receive any flowers. Somebody may not receive a card. But I need you to know that if you don't receive a card, if, if somebody doesn't call you and tell you I love you, I need you to understand this one thing. to bear in love, I got to learn how to love myself. Before you can really love others, you have got to learn how to love yourself. We, 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 spend, we spend a lot of time wanting to be affirmed by others and I affirm my wife because I love her. But Zion, there are some people that don't feel that love. They don't understand what that love really is. But the word of God tells us that we are one body. And if I'm one body, then I've got to be patient and bear in patience. With them. But I have to do it in love. One of my favorite songs, Whitney Houston, song that she says this, the song is the greatest love of all, self-love, because the greatest love of all is happening to me. The word said, I found the greatest love of all inside of me. She goes on to say that the greatest love of all is easy to achieve. 
Learning how to love yourself, it is the greatest love of all. But my question becomes, how can I love others without first loving myself? I, I need somebody just to hear from my heart of love. I've got to deal with some things on the inside of me just in case somebody doesn't show me. So I might need you wherever you are just to put your hands around yourself. This is Valentine's Day. I, I'm one body, but I'm being patient and gentle. And the way you are patient and gentle, you may have to hold yourself sometimes. Don't rely so much on love that comes from unordinary places. But trust the love that's on the inside. It said, I've learned how to love from the greatest love of all inside of me. 1 Corinthians 13 and 13 said, and now these three remain hope, faith, and love. But it says that the greatest of these is love. So how do we get to where God wants us to go? As we begin to walk this journey together, how do we get there? The only way you can get there is that you got to love. But you got to have a self-love. We have to learn how to encourage one another in love. Be patient with one another in love. And realize that sometimes folk don't know love because they have not felt love. and They have not dealt with themselves on the inside. So we want you to deal with your own internal self today. So that before I can love somebody else, I got to learn to love me. I got to be in charge of my soul, my spirit. I have to love me so I can love you. And you wonder why sometimes people may not respond a certain way. Because they maybe have not felt what true love is all about. But we said we are one body now and there are many pieces to this body. I can't love my hand and not love my feet. I have to love it all. So if I had a mirror today, I want to look into that mirror. And I said, God, teach me to love me. Teach me to move anything that's causing me not to love me first. I, I have some things that might be going on in my body that I did not ask for, but God, I still need to love me. Because if I want to be good and do good for mankind, I've got to learn how to love me. And I don't know where you are or where you're sitting in your home, but you've got to learn how to love yourself. So that you can love others. We can't move forward together unless you got a self-love for yourself. They say, treat that neighbor as thyself. Well, how are you going to treat your neighbor if you don't know what true love is? Stop waiting on somebody to show you what true love, love comes from. Nobody don't have to prod me to show love. Restaurants are going to be crowded all day. Flowers are going to be delivered all across town. With expressions of love. But if it doesn't stop by your house, then what? So teach me, God, to fall in love with myself. Because if I fall in love with myself, then I'll treat my neighbor better. If I love myself, there are some things that I won't allow to happen to me. There are some people that I will not allowed to pour into my spirit the things that are not pleasing. The 
Corinthians said in the 13th chapter that Deacon Gant read, that for me to understand what true love, I have to understand that I've got to be patient with myself. Because, see, I have to understand that if I'm going to love from the inside out, that there are some things that I've got to deal with that I've got to be patient with myself. How can I be patient with others and I can't be patient with myself? Be patient with yourself, Ronald. You ain't all what you want to be, but thank God, Ronald, you're not what you used to be. You've got to say it to yourself so you'll understand what it really means. I'm patient. I got to be kind to myself. I got to treat myself nicely. I've got to pamper myself. I love myself. People wonder why you do the things for yourself so much because I love me. I want to dress myself up. I want to be kind. I don't want to rely on somebody else to dress me up. I want to be kind to myself. You can't rely on folk always to butter you and to, to lift you and to exalt you. You have to learn how to exalt yourself if you want to know what true love is. It comes from the inside out. Love doesn't want what somebody else has. That's not love. That's jealousy and envy. But true love don't care what you have. Because it ain't all about what you have. It's what you're carrying. What are you carrying? Self. Love. It doesn't stand in a place of being proud. True love. That's what the Word of God wants us to know today. That forget about this February the fourteenth, three sixty-five love. That's the love that God wants us to learn. The three hundred and sixty-five days of the year, I've got to love myself so I can love others, and and I don't have don't be proud. Don't, just just be humble and submissive when it comes to true love now. True love does not dishonor other people. That's what the word of God tells us. But never mind dishonoring others. I can't dishonor myself. I have to carry myself in a certain way. Often so many times in your life you said, I wish I had not done that. I wish I, I, I was not in my own self. I was acting out of character. I was dishonoring and when you dishonor yourself, you dishonor God. But love doesn't dishonor. You got to get to the place when I'm tired of dishonoring myself. Love doesn't look out for their own interests. Love cares about what somebody else is interested in. What it takes for you to grow. What, I, it's not just about me, it's about others. But I won't know that unless I love myself enough and understand that my love is an internal, genuine love that I care about other people. That's what we are to go forward. As a body of Christ. Love doesn't keep up with other people's wrongs. Say it again. Love does not keep up with other people's wrong. True love does not sit in the church and think the preacher's talking about everybody else but them. I've got to look at myself to understand what this love is really all about. Love is happy and not evil. It's full of joy when the truth is spoken. Some folk don't like the truth, but love loves the truth because the truth helps. And I've got to learn how to help myself 
so that I can help others. I put these up today. I knew the day was going to be a tough day for me. Why? Because when you start talking about what love is and what love looks like, it's a difficult topic to talk about. Because when you really look around and examine, do you really see love everywhere you go? Can you experience it even if it's not around? You have to carry it with you everywhere so that when I'm in the midst of hate, love still abides. How can you transform an environment unless you put love in it? Love will conquer all hate. The greatest of these is love. They didn't say the greatest of these is hate. They say the greatest of these is love. It, it always protects. Love is always truth. It's always hopes and love never gives up it never so don't give up on loving yourself self evaluate your love for you before I can look at him I need to look at me so I can help him I just need somebody to evaluate this true and authentic love. Because God cannot use your talents if you don't love yourself. God cannot use your talents if you can't love others. How is God going to use you when you don't know how to love yourself? So I'm not going to rely on anybody. I'm going to rely on the Holy Spirit. And you know how I know God loved me? Because he reached down into nothing. Grab hold to a handful of dust. He fashioned it liking to his image. You and I. And then he breathed in me. And you know what's inside of me? Is the love that God breathed inside of me. So ask God to help me. Take me back, God, to the moment when you breathed into my nostrils and I became a living soul. So that I can love for real. Oh, I know life has a bunch of turns, but it had nothing to do with the love on the inside. We can make a difference if we love. But remember, it takes an individual commitment to love yourself first. Then I can love others. So I want you to enjoy your day. But I want you to think about love from a perspective. That Valentine's Day is going to be gone tomorrow. They're going to have the cars on sale and the flowers on sale. There going to be some cars in the store that have not even been opened. For a message that somebody wrote that never reached. Don't let that be your story. That even when tomorrow comes, you must be able to tell somebody how much I love you. And start the first thing in the morning. When you get up and you look in the mirror and say, I love you. And watch what it does for the rest of your day when you run into somebody. Maybe somebody you need to call on the phone. 
You've been avoiding them for some whatever reason. What if life snatches you and you never got the chance to say, I love you? You know why? Because you've been holding it on the inside. But I promise you in Jesus' name that love comes from the inside out. And if it comes this way, so when I reach out my hand, I'm reaching you in love. Teach us how to love is the message for today. Teach us. But love yourself so that you can love others. Don't put up with stuff that don't help you to love yourself. Is that all right? I mean, can you, can you, can you do that? Can you just commit to yourself wherever you are to love yourself first? so that we can love and do what God wants us to do in this ministry. Amen. Somebody needs to, somebody need that. Somebody need, somebody needed to hear that. Somebody needed to, it may not have been you, but it was me. That when I reach my hands out to you, I promise you in Jesus' name, I'm reaching it out in love. Now how you receive it is going to be totally left up to you. But I just ask that you check your own heart. Because I promise you, if you love yourself, you will learn how to love others. Why? Because Christ first loved us. God in your name teach us in this one body that you have given us to be patient and gentle and kind bearing with one another in love which is in Christ help us God to not be caught up with the fanfare smoke in the mirrors that this world wants us to to somehow believe that shows love but help us to understand that true love comes from a place that only you can give Help us to purify ourselves. One of the hardest things, God, for us to do is to deal with ourselves. Forgive us, Lord, for trying to figure other people out. And we ain't figured our own selves out. Help us, Lord, to stop seeing the wrong in somebody else. We have not realized all of that might be coming from the inside of us. But Lord, you made it very clear in your word that the greatest that we can have is love because you love us so much that you gave us your son that died for all of the unloving things that we have done. Help this day to be a better day forward. And God, is there anybody under the sound of my voice that, that, that may be sitting at home at the day or whenever during the week and they get depressed during this time of the year because they, they get mixed emotions about what really love is. Help them to examine the word of God to learn that love is on the inside of them and you breathe into them love help us to find that kind of self love 
in us. Thank you, God, for this day. Keep us, God, in your care. Anybody that we find under the sound of our voice that needs you, God, that needs prayer, we ask that they call in on the prayer line right now. Some, somebody may be at the point where they don't know if, 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 if love is in their future. God, they don't know what true love is and they've never felt it. Matter of fact, God, they, they may be at a depressing state in their lives right now. That, but let them call in on the prayer line to find that there's somebody on the other end that who heart is filled with love because they know where love comes from. And that they can express that love with them in prayer. We ask that they call in just now. And God, if there's anybody who, who have not accepted you as their personal Savior, let them know that the greatest love of all you gave them to save them, that was Jesus. All they got to do is believe in their heart that he died for their sins then they can be saved. Your Bible is full of love. It's the love manual. Teach us to read it daily that we may be a better people. Hear our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Jesus is the answer. Thank you, God. For the world today. Learn how to love yourselves. Above him so that you can love no others. Other. Jesus, Jesus is the way. Yeah, yeah. Jesus is the answer. For the world. to God as we shall be dismissed. God, now unto him who is able to keep us from falling and present us faultless before the only wise God, we glory and majesty, dominion and power, hence now and forevermore. And all of God's people said amen. amen. Love somebody. Start with yourself.